Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. A rainy and cold afternoon as I am doing this winter seems to be circling us at the moment. I have uh, the Knights Templar Tarot on the tarot table. Winter might be striking at the heart of the has-been as well today. He's back in London for an Invictus Games event, braving the dangers that this wonderful city of London, well not the city of London, the wonderful city presents, I'm being snarky, uh, an event where there was a very conspicuously empty table right at the front, huge empty table, uh, which was interesting, but has been as in London, and the will they won't they uh, drama was cut brutally short. As Richard Eden says, he's always full of snark, Richard Eden, the royal reporter. He said, King Charles has checked his diary and found there is no time to meet the son who has made a fortune from attacking his family. Uh, the has-been was allegedly very keen to see his father during his whirlwind trip to London. But the king is busy. He's uh, at Clarence House. He has a garden party to attend tomorrow to host. And he also has a meeting with the prime minister and various other things. And just can't quite make the time in his diary to see the has-been. The has-been spokesperson put out a statement saying, in response to the many inquiries and continued speculation on whether or not the Duke will meet his father while in the UK this week, it unfortunately will not be possible due to His Majesty's full programme. The Duke, of course, is understanding of his father's diary of commitments and hopes to see him soon. What leapt at me from that statement was that the Duke is mentioned twice, but the King is not mentioned at all. So we can speculate who might have been the author of that little rather uh, passive aggressive statement in my opinion. But anyway, let's get to the tarot. I'm going to do a relationship reading between the king and the duke. And we're going to look at recent past energy. I'm going to keep the time frame of this very tight. Recent build up to this trip, how the king felt and how the duke felt. Current energy between them, the king's position, obviously this um, refusal to see Harry was very directly from the king himself. And then follow-up energy, and we're going to look at follow-up energy after the Nigeria tour, because I'm sure that the royal family is incensed and appalled about the Nigeria trip to raise some cash for herself, perhaps, and for the Invictus Games. So we're going to look and see how their relationship is going to prosper or not after the Nigeria tour. So a relationship reading between King Charles and his soldier of fortune son as i am calling him for the purposes of this reading my opinion of course and let's remind you it is all just tarot for fun and entertainment it's all my opinion it's all speculation and there is uh, i just read energy and there is a disclaimer in the box below my eye was caught by that uh, queen of swords looking sideways at me I think the late Queen was uh, expressing her feelings there just briefly about what the has-been is up to. So, relationships spread, King first, then the Duke, and we will see what is going on between them. Five of Swords conflict, underlying energy, uh, battle, Battle stations, the Five of Swords. Hollow victory always with the Five of Swords. Somebody has won, you can see the pile of swords there. And the people are running away, the defeated people. But it is a hollow victory because with the Five of Swords, you've generally beaten people you should never have been fighting with. And um, you might look like a big hero um, 
on paper, but in reality, I don't know where to put this card, in reality, you are a big loser. That's the Five of Swords. And it has been well, all his strops and his tantrums and his abuse and his betrayal and his resentment and his nasty book and his nasty docu-series and everything else and blame everybody and demand apologies from everybody now just looks like an absolute loser. Five of Swords. That his father cannot make time to see even though his father is a couple of miles away from him in London right now. Situation, the past, the king, I'll look at them together and the has been, well the king has the two of cups in reverse very upset very disappointed it's the breakup card it doesn't have to be between romantic partners as is depicted here two of cups is a, a separation of falling out between two people who were very affectionate at some point and um, it's always said of King Charles and the has been that uh, they really got on and it was William that was the tricky one in the past and now it's Prince William who uh, is getting on much better with King Charles and the has been is the one that is out in the cold and that two of cups is really telling a sad story that the king feels very hurt. He feels that there is no longer any affection between himself and Harry. Harry has said not only terrible things about the king, but he said some nasty things about Queen Camilla as well, his stepmother. Unforgivable things. And that two of cups is a wounding and a separation and a falling out. That's very painful. That's the king's energy in the recent past and the lead up to this trip to London. It's just, I don't want to see him. He couldn't avoid seeing him last time when the cancer diagnosis was revealed because Hasbeen had thrown himself on a plane before anyone could stop him and, sh and shown up in London. But the king uh, jumping on a helicopter and being whisked away to Sandringham was pretty much a sign to the whole world that he really didn't want to see Harry. Harry's got the Knight of Wands in reverse. This is the bad temper this is the it's the red-headed knight the fiery knight the knight of wands as i say bad temper volatile unpredictable uh, blows hot and cold uh, can just suddenly show up the knight of wands is notorious whether it's upright or in reverse which is showing up and then just as quickly disappearing which is exactly what he's doing now if he had said i'm putting aside a week i know you're busy i know it's you know you're back roiling and this is your busy time of year going into the summer um, i'm bringing the kids i'm bringing herself um, although you know we're going to stick her in the tower and i'm going to spend time with you and i'm coming to balmoral with the kids and we're going to go fishing and horse riding and rambling and all the lovely things then that two of cups would be upright immediately. But he's unpredictable, volatile, angry, self-absorbed, treacherous in my opinion. Um, so let's look at the king right now. That was in the build-up. How's the king feeling right now? Knight of Swords in reverse and justice. The Knight of Swords in reverse is um, hasty and cruel energy. Upright, it's it's witty and it's uh, smart and it's um, riding to the rescue kind of energy. For me, it's doing energy. Knights are all doing energy. But it's in reverse. He feels that this is reckless. It's too quick. It's too chaotic. It's too volatile. And there's the justice card. And the justice card normally shows up with Harry and Meghan their sense of grievance, their sense of entitlement, their sense that they are owed an apology and all the rest of it. But it's showing up in the king's energy. The king is the one that feels that he has been wronged, knight of wands in reverse and knight of swords in reverse. Those vicious attacks have really left their mark. They've hurt the king. And they've hurt him as well for the rest of the family that has been attacked, the Princess of Wales and of course the Queen as well. And the King is the one that feels that there should be some balance, there should be some, um, I can't think of the English word, I'm for, beset with all kinds of foreign language words. There should be some making right. Um, 
recompense. There, sh there should be some something that comes from Harry, some acknowledgement, some apology from Harry that settles the situation that calms the thing down it's also litigation and of course harry blows into london every so off, often to appear in court and sue the king's government and do whatever else he's trying to do and he's just had enough he's had enough of this volatile energy this cruel and vicious uh, um, unprovoked energy these attacks that suddenly come out of the blue the king really is i need you to show some awareness of the harm that you have done to me and to the rest of the royal family it's interesting energy very interesting and it's very interesting that this was such a direct announcement no harry will not be seeing the king and the king does not have time to see him very very direct um, a lot of people thought that he would be browbeaten into seeing Harry. Not the case. How does Harry feel right now? The Eight of Cups and the Ace of Cups. He wants to put this all behind him. Eight of Cups is moving on from emotional pain and heartache. Um, leave the past behind. Leave the terrible things behind and start over ace of cups fresh start uh, aces on new beginnings ace of cups um, emotional start uh, um, uh, we love each other let's focus on that and put the past behind us but the king has got this card here and this pain that sits you behaved like an absolute brat and it's not forgotten and i need justice and the people need justice. The people actually need to see this. The king is the head of state. Um, how he responds to this kind of behavior tells everyone what kind of person he is. It sets a tone in society. And if he's going to just be browbeaten by the has been because it looks good for Netflix, for the polo documentary, or for herself selling marmalade or whatever she's selling, strawberry jam, sorry. Um, it's too hard to make marmalade, strawberry jam, much easier. Um, the king can't do it because it would look so bad. And has been doesn't get this. Oh, you know, uh, I'm emotional now because you're sick, you've got cancer. And um, I need to make good with you so I can get back into the royal family before Wills takes over, my opinion. Very interesting energy. What's between them? Queen of Pentacles, that's Catherine. And the world. And it is the fairness to her. I think this is what's really motivating the king more than what happened to Camilla is what's happened to Catherine. And I'm getting very emotional. And the king has just recently um, given Catherine a very high honor. I can't remember what it was, but he's an, appointed her to something uh, to do with the arts, I think. Um, and there she is. In her gold dress, the Queen of Pentacles, Earth sign, high status woman. It, this is about Catherine. And this is about the very public, because it's the world, and the world for me in these royal readings has become a card of public awareness, the world watching. Very much about what's happened to her and the need for this situation to be resolved, for her to heal, for her to come back into circulation. Um, the world is completion. It's the end of a cycle, the successful ending of a cycle when it's upright. The king needs this situation to improve and he needs Catherine to be restored not only to good health physically, but also to good mental health, emotional health and the harm that Harry has done Knight of Swords in reverse, Knight of Wands in reverse, that treachery, that viciousness, the cruel things, the accusations. Catherine made me cry on Oprah, said by herself, that toxic wife of Harry's, and um, all the rest of it, the racism allegations and all that stuff. That's got to go away. Justice card. Um, Prince William vibe in this world card as well. Um, 
they are the power couple in this situation. Uh, it's not about Harry and it's not about the king. It's about them. And I think that the king came out with a hard no because he knows that William and Catherine will not see Harry or Meghan. They will not entertain the notion of seeing either of them or having anything to do with them. And the king knows where his loyalty lies. So after the Nigerian tour, what's going to be going on? There's the king, Knight of Cups. He's looking more... Um, uh, more kindly, the Knight of Cups is more of a, a fond energy. And Harry has the Ace of Swords. Uh, so Harry is going to be striking out in some kind of new direction as a result of this um, Nigeria tour. Maybe it's got to do something with the Warrior Games in the United States. We're going to look at that next. But Harry is on some new, new mission after this. Um, it, it, the Ace of Swords is about truth and clarity and vision and justice as well. And we're calling for justice over here. There might be something that happens um, as a result of this Nigeria tour that makes this energy easier for Harry. I'm speculating that things with the wife might not be going very well. Let's just clarify. Let's ask what that Ace of Swords is about. The king is, uh, he's got his back to the Ace of Swords. It's always interesting when you read tarot to look at very basic things like that. He's looking, he's actually looking at William and Catherine. Uh, let's look at that Ace of Swords. What's this Ace of Swords is about? Harry's got his own trouble in Africa, of course, with the African Park scandal that is not dying down, however much he tries to ignore it. So as, as I say, King's got his back to Harry and the Ace of Swords, looking back at William and Catherine. What's going on with this Ace of Swords, please? Um, Nine of Wands, yeah. He's... It's interesting because it doesn't look that bad, that Ace of Swords, but as I say, he's going to have to come out with some truth, with some statement. That Ace of Swords is very much a declaration. He might have to address things that are in this Nine of Wands. The African Park scandal, for instance. The drama around the Invictus Games at the moment. All the rumours, the rumours about Mike Tyndall, the rumours about uh, thousands of veterans leaving the Games, the rumours about the Games being in huge financial disarray, the rumours about people hating the fact that Meghan Markle has made it her personal fashion show, wardrobe, expense account, whatever else you want to say about it. It's about the Invictus Games in being in bad shape and about his own reputation being in bad shape. King is not interested. This is Harry's problem and Harry is going to have to deal with it, which is quite interesting. That Five of Swords, of course, sitting under here as well. Um, he really should have done something about the scandal the African Park scandal, rather than just gloss over it and pass it along to someone else to deal with. Um, anyway, that is your reading. It's very clear where the king's loyalties are lying right here and who has the power in this situation. And it is not, has been, not at all. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.